Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're making shepherd's pie. First you need three onions, finely chopped. Next we're gonna need six cups of frozen vegetables. Now we need two and a quarter cups of water. Next we need nine cups of mashed potatoes. This is gonna be a large shepherd's pie, guys. Take nine cups of mashed potatoes. We're gonna need a pot. Oh, that might not be a big one. We need something bigger. How about this one? Uh, maybe not. Still a little small. Today, we are using this pot. For our next ingredient and our second last ingredient, we're gonna need three pounds of extra lean ground beef. Okay guys, the one ingredient that makes this the best shepherd's pie you have ever tasted is the seasoning. And there is only one seasoning, and that is Clubhouse Shepherd's Pie Seasoning. Big shout out to Clubhouse for making the best shepherd's pie seasoning. Now that our potatoes are done, cut them Peel them and cut them into tiny pieces. It helps them boil faster. And then we'll put salt in the water. Now, turn the stove on to high. Let's add oil into the pan. We're gonna sweat down these onions. Now we're going to sweat these onions. Now that the onions are almost sweated down, we're going to add the ground beef. Now that the beef and onions are cooked, let's add the frozen vegetables. Now we have to mix the clubhouse seasoning with the water. Once your mixture is ready, pour the shepherd's pie seasoning with water in over top. Once your mixture is done, pour it into these containers and leave some room on the top for the mashed potatoes. Now spread it out. Now add the mashed potatoes. Once your potatoes are cooked, it's time to mash them. The tools you would need for this are a spoon with holes to strain all the excess water out and a potato ricer to give it that potato mash. Now that our potatoes are mashed, we're gonna put them over the mixture, lay them down and put them in the oven. There you guys have it, our clubhouse shepherd's pie.